Hello again. I have hooked a servo up to the kitten bot to be run by the microbit. Here is the first reason for needing an extension board is that the servos won't run on three volts. Most servos, some might, but the one that and some that might run might not run right. So five volts is really needed for servos, and the microbit only supplies three volts. So, I have a 5 volt battery plugged into the kitten bot. And on the kitten bot, what's nice about it and what's bad about it um, is that it has some 5 volt pins down here. These three pins in a row here are 5 volts. Some of the other expansion boards have uh, like some of the upper numbered pins uh, at 5 volts when you supply it 5 volts, but only 3 volts when you supply it 3 volts. So you got to look at some of the differences and some of the nuances. A couple, a couple of expansion boards also have a switch to switch like some of the pins to 5 volts when you want 5 volts. So there's pluses and minuses. Now, servos usually come um, already wired together with 3 wires and then this nice little uh, jack you just plug it in so normally I would just plug this in right across uh, one row of pins and the orange the code on this one is orange is signal and red is power and brown is ground so what I had to do is I needed another set of wires so I took some um, pin to socket wires, three of them, and plug them in here. And then I just plug signal into pin one signal, because uh, I decided I coded it to go pin one. And then I plug the power and the ground into five volt power and ground. And as I just have a simple code running on it. It just says, hey, set uh, servo right pin, uh, P1 to 0, pause for a second, server right pin P1 to 90, pause for a second, server right pin P1 to 180, because that's what my position servos do. You tell what angle to go to, and then pause for another second, then I just, I just have that in a forever loop. Um, you might be noticing that 180, it's not necessarily 180. And 90 is not necessarily 90 uh, from your geometry. And that's probably just a matter of, um, these are inexpensive servos. If you want more precision, you're gonna have to, sp gonna have to spend uh, a little bit more money on the servos. So they're servos, um, and they are a reason you need an expansion board. Again, they need five volts. So you really couldn't run them straight from a micro bit. Um, that's it for servos. It's a pretty simple. Well, it's you do need some extra wires. That is that is a thing when you start getting expansion boards, is you need some extra wiring, um, a variety of wires, um, socket to pin, um, socket to alligator clip. Those would be the two main ones um, you need to get. Unfortunately, usually they come in sets. Like the alligator clip ones comes in usually a set of socket to alligator and pin to alligator. And then the, uh, the jumper wires, the socket to pin, usually comes in a triple set of uh, socket to socket, pin to pin, and socket to pin. So, there you go. Servo, using a kitten bot, run by the micro bit. Oh, and the code, uh, like I said, it's just a simple code. Ah, call it the microphone cord. Um, and those blocks are just... Um, pin blocks, which are at the bottom of, come on, which are just at the bottom of the uh, make code. So and that's how I'm just using makecode.microbit.org. Yep, there we go. Have fun.